What is up, everybody, and welcome to another episode brought to you by Backyard Zombie, and welcome to episode three of Playing in the Backyard, the making of the green. So I'm going to pass it on over to Miles, and let's get this episode started. Cool. My name is Miles Douglas Garrett, and I am the writer, director, and editor of The Green. Um, so this idea had kind of sprung about uh, when I was sort of brainstorming on... Uh, different ideas that we could get done like fairly quickly and so we wanted to do something in the woods so I came up with like a handful of story ideas and Josh I had him pick one that he thought that we realistically could do uh, the makeup for and everything and um, we just wrote it out originally it was gonna be between just like one person and his like alternate future self that was all like decayed and gross uh, but then we decided to make it two people so that there's a little bit more heart in there uh, in the sense that it's it's their friend that's sort of doing the haunting so shooting some behind the scenes for the green I'm out here at Mill Creek Park just doing some location scouting I think we're actually gonna film right around this area it's really nice sun hits at nice there's some trees and it's gonna look really good also I'm getting some color so that's always nice too the audition process for this um, movie was really easy uh, Connor and Lynn came to my house and we actually brought them outside because we just wanted to see we didn't want a white wall in the background. We wanted them to see what they were gonna be dealing with, especially being outside. So they both read for both characters and it was so interesting seeing like Connor's rendition of, I believe it was Kyle in the script, we changed it to Kay. Um, seeing his rendition of both characters and then seeing Lynn's uh, rendition of both characters. And that was really cool. And uh, we decided that who was best for what character and having them on set was nothing but a pleasure. So their auditions were great and then they got cast and the rest of this history. Your body stiffens. You're unable to hold down food or water. You feel like your body shrivels until your skin's like tissue paper stretched over the bone. Your eyes dry up because you can't blink. Before you know it, you can't see anything, but you feel it all. I either scrape this nasty shit off and take half my skin with it and definitely get an infection that'll kill me, or I let the fungus run its course on me. It can't be all bad, right? It really can be. You've seen what it can do. Kyle. So our two actors, Connor and Lynn, were super, super, super easy to work with. And I love that. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> um, I was really happy with what they brought to the table. Um, I was a little worried that some of the dialogue wouldn't, wouldn't sound very natural because I don't write a whole lot of dialogue often. Um, but I think with them sort of working on it and just being like, hey, can I switch this, can I switch this, make it sound more natural, it really helped. Um, and I'm really happy with what we got with them because they did a really awesome job. Sure. You want me to start with eyes and then move? Yeah. Have your eyes kind of lead the, the movement. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Makeup was so much fun, uh, especially with Lynn. Lynn got a lot more green on her face and a lot more going on with her costuming. The costumes were made days before. We went to Goodwill. We bought a bunch of thrifty outfits and then I just destroyed them with coffee, paint, just gunk and especially uh, dried blood, stuff like that. You'll see it on their, uh, their costumes. But Lynn had a, a really good time. Uh, she was covered in green makeup and uh, Danny would have a bottle of this like goo. Like it was basically just caro syrup, uh, green food coloring. It tasted very sweet, but uh, Lynn was a true of putting that into her mouth and then in certain scenes she would just let it drool out and that looked really cool. And then Connor's prosthetic came out amazingly for, you know, as cheaply as we put it together and I really liked the way it came out and I think it really shows that there is this like pulsating fungus on him. So it's really cool to grow not only as a prop guy but also as a makeup person and like costumes, like specialty costumes for a shoot like this. Look at me. Either way, I'm dead. At least if I give in to the rot, I don't have to scrape off half my arm. You think that's as bad as it gets? 
Your body stiffens. You're unable to hold down food or water. Shrivel. Until your skin is like tissue paper over bone. Your eyes dry. Good to go? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey there do you want to support our channel well you can if you go down to the link down below to our teespring you can buy some t-shirts all proceeds go to the channel we also have like backpacks and fanny packs we have stickers sweaters you name it so if you love what we do here and you want to support us please head down to that link and buy yourself a t-shirt why not treat yourself Hi, my name is Connor Bezzaretti. Uh, I'm playing Rem, and uh, I'm having a great time working with Backyard Zombie, even though Josh is a dick. Not a dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> covered in goo and it's the best. This was a very laid back shoot. We had a lot of like a lot of fun in Mill Creek Park. Connor and Lynn were real troopers about getting up early, uh, coming to my house for makeup. And then we get to the location. It was quite a trek to get to the location and then having Miles direct and then Danny as our assistant on set. It was just a really, really good shoot. We couldn't have asked for a better day. It actually rained quite a bit. If you look in certain shots, you'll see the drips on the pond. And I, I don't know, I think it added a lot of cool ambiance. The actors have wraps. Yay. Woo. How'd they do? <laughs> Maybe skip this one. <laughs> Miles, how we feeling? We're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty all right. Good. <laughs> don't you love? We are on the set of The Green. And we just wrapped, so. So, I think that uh, after the first day of filming, we really got everything we could have asked for. Uh, originally, the script was be uh, supposed to take place during a very bright and sunny day, and that is 100% not what we got. Uh, we got this really nice, overcast, rainy, muddy day, and I honestly, I love that even more. Um, and I'm glad that Connor, Lynn, uh, you know, Josh and, and Danny were all super, super awesome about it. And troopers trudging through the mud to get to where we had to go um, for the location. But I think that overall it turned out pretty, pretty awesome. And that is episode three of Playing in the Backyard, The Making of the Green. Uh, this is gonna be probably the last episode for a little bit until I get back home to start working with Miles again. I just wanna take this time to thank Miles for answering my message when I said, hey, let's make some movies. And I, our friendship has really blossomed and I cannot wait. We're constantly throwing stuff at each other, be like, oh, we could do this, we could do that. And I'm really excited to get back home to Youngstown to start working on stuff with him again. I wanna thank uh, Danny D'Angelo and Matt Schaefer for two of our films, allowed us to use their awesome house, their creepy, creepy house. And Danny's always been super supportive of me and having her on set is always a pleasure. She's always a team player. I wanna thank all of my actors so far who have done stuff with us. Um, Danny, Jacob, Rosie, Ben, Connor, Lynn. Thank you guys so much for stepping up and entering this, um, this, this universe of Backyard Zombie. And I'm, I'm so excited to see where 2000, the end of 2022 into 2023 takes us. And I cannot wait to make episode four of this series because I want, I want a whole playlist of these I love behind the scenes videos and that's why I make them for you. It's more for me, but it's also for you. So thank you so much if you've made it to this point in the video for watching and we will see you in the next video.